There now follows a discussion about the help desk. Meet Sally. Sally works in the help desk. This means that Sally is in front line support, also known as first level support. There are various ways in which we can contact Sally. We can telephone Sally with a problem. We can go meet Sally face to face at the help desk and discuss the problem. We can send an email with the problem or perhaps we can fill in some sort of online forum either over the internet or more likely the company intranet. In the first instance Sally will attempt to resolve the call, however Sally is limited in what she can do. She possesses only very basic skill levels. To help her resolve problems she will perhaps read from uh, a script or from a list of frequently asked questions in previously resolved calls. Only very common and basic faults will be dealt with by Sally. She is also limited in time. This means that she may only have 5 or 10 minutes per call. The reason for this is that we cannot have a backlog or a queue of calls waiting to be resolved. In the first instance Sally may well resolve the call. In this case Sally will then fill in a special forum. This forum may be paper based or more likely an electronic type forum. The types of fields into this forum would be the name of the caller or the user requesting help, an ID number uniquely assigned to this particular call, the date and time the call was made, the ID of the workstation or other device that required repair, a description of the fault and if the fault is resolved then how it was resolved will also go in this field. There perhaps could be a separate field for the resolution. The location of the device requiring to be repaired and then resolved yes or no. In this instance the resolve yes field would be ticked. Priority and escalation is two fields which are not filled in at this point and we'll deal with in the next part, unresolved. However, once the forum is filled in, the information is then archived or saved. Archived information allows us to analyse it and, and we can see trends. Trends, for example, in time. Notice the date and time stored in the forum and when the, the, the call was resolved will allow us to see how much time it took to resolve the call. This will allow us or allow the help desk to see how well they're performing if they're resolving calls in time. We can also look at equipment trends. Is the same printer breaking down day in, day out? Or is the same PC failing to boot day in, day out? If we see this trend then perhaps we can say it's time to replace this equipment rather than wasting valuable help desk resources on continually repairing it. Lastly we can also look at skill trends. If the same user is asking for the same problem day in and day out then we know that the user perhaps needs to, be, needs to have some training. It may not be that they're asking for the same problem but lots and lots of basic problems or just many calls in general. Lastly in this connection of archive material we can have a solution library. No one can remember the solution to every call so therefore the, the solution is logged. This means that Sally or whoever else is working in frontline support can access this information for a similar call and reuse that information to resolve it. If the call then is unresolved at this point, then Sally has to assign it to someone else. Before she does that however, she must assign a priority to the call. Priorities can have various different levels in various different organisations. Let's assume that our organisation has a three level priority system. A priority one means it's the highest level, which could include something like a complete network failure. It could mean uh, the inability to send and receive emails for the entire organisation, or it could mean that the uh, connection to the internet has failed. This would be a priority one problem. A priority two problem could mean that a number of users are affected by a problem. Perhaps a switch or router has broken and a part of the network has failed. And in this case it would be priority two. Perhaps a print server has failed. This would be a priority two. Also uh, in priorities could be a priority three which would mean that only one user is affected. Perhaps they are unable to launch an application or unable to log in or, or something of that nature. This would be assigned priority 3. Next thing is that Sally has assigned a special ID number on the forum which means that this problem can be tracked by the user or by the help desk. The user can call the help desk, submit the number and Sally will be able to 
to state to the user what stage the resolution is in. The user may also use the number through perhaps an online intranet forum, place a number in, run the query and the forum will tell us there and then if the problem has been resolved. Sally will then also assign the problem to a specific technical person. Once Sally has decided on these things and filled in the forum respectively, she will then escalate the call. The call will be escalated to the second level support. Residing at the second level support will be specially trained technical help staff. These individuals possess much greater skill sets than Sally. There could be two, three, four, five, depending on the organisation, the amount of people working here. They will possess various different skills. There may well be a hardware specialist, a software specialist, a network specialist and a phone specialist and various other specials within that group. If it's a network problem, of course, it would be escalated to the network specialist or specialists. This name would be noted on the escalated part of the forum. The name of the technician would be listed. The technicians then would work to resolve the call and when the call is resolved, they will also note how it was resolved and then they will also archive the forum. Should the second level support staff fail to resolve the call, then they too must also escalate it. At this point, the call will be escalated and moved on to the third level of support. In this instance, third level support does not exist within the organisation. Third level support is outsourced to a third party organisation. This could be a local computer store or some organisation that provides that particular type of service. This is down to your organisation finding a suitable third party organisation to resolve faults. The third party organisation may also be used with um, more technical or more demanding or more time consuming problems like building a new section to the network or reinstalling perhaps a whole number of machines. This would be too this would have too much time assigned to it, therefore the in-house technical staff would not be able to tackle it. Lastly in this connection of help desk, there's a document called service level agreement. The service level agreement is a binding contract between frontline support, second level support and third level support. In the first instance, the service level agreement is an agreement between the help desk and the internal users for frontline and second level support. The service level agreement may say something like, we will attempt to resolve your call within four hours of receiving it and we will resolve it in eight hours. Should, this, should your call not be resolved, it will then be outsourced and you will be notified in due course. However, the service level agreement will have nothing to do with internal people if the problem is outsourced. The service level agreement will be a separate agreement between your organisation and the third party organisation resolving your call. Again, it may well be that they have to respond to the call within one hour and resolve the call within four hours. Again, these terms are negotiable and are noted in the service level agreement and the service level agreement is made known to everyone so that they know where they stand when they submit a particular call. This keeps everybody in line and on their toes and in that way there's a much happier working environment.